Hi guys, I'm Ryan Houston and welcome to my Fly Tying channel. If your video is about to start shortly, please take this opportunity to hit the like button down below, leave some comments, tell your friends. Interaction, likes, subscriptions help my channel to grow and help me to keep producing content for yourselves. If you're new to my channel, check out the other videos that I've got. There are over 500 videos at this stage, so there should be something there for everybody. Again, video is about to start. Hit that like button down below. Hi guys, so uh, tonight what we're going to do is tie a variation of a gosling. Gosling is uh, an Irish lock fly, probably primarily designed for salmon, uh, but would work for trout as well. I suppose it will work in a mayfly as well. So what I have here is a size 8B175. Uh, and I've attached a gel spun thread to it. So, I'm going to use a topping for a tail, so a golden pheasant topping. I'm going to pull a fairly straight one here. I'm putting that on to be around about a fly's length. So, next we're going to put on the uh, front hackle of this fly. So for this we're using a dyed yellow uh, mallard breast. So if your hackle, if your feather is small enough you can wrap it but I have a feeling that this one's probably just on the big side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to snap out the tip of this feather. Then I'm going to lay it on its back on top of the shank take my thread up to just where I'm leaving room for a muddler head on the front of this and then I'm going to put a couple of loose wraps around that and then I'm just going to pull that back until whenever I'd fold it back I have this sort of length that will extend back to roughly about where the tip of the tail is so I didn't have to cut too much in the way of length off that but the fact that it's displayed all around now will give me a normal hackle effect. So, uh, we want some rib for this flat. So I'm going to use a gold oval. Tie that in back to the tail. Take our tying thread forward. I'm now going to tie in a golden olive Hackle pointing forwards and again come back to the tail and then I'm going to dub on a body so what I'm using here is a like a golden olive but I have a little bit of flash mixed in with it so it's actually a little bit of like a golden olive glister that I've put in with it so I'm just going to wax my thread and dub on a body Let's just get rid of them. And then we'll palmer this hackle backwards. So what I'm going to do is to take a turn or so. Snap the tip of it. Take a turn just behind our duck hackle. And then go backwards in as many turns as suits yourself, but generally sort of three to five, depending on how bushy you want it. So if you want it to float like a cork, you could go more. And then we'll take our gold rib up through that. Snap off the hackle. And then just gonna fold back the duck hackle and take my rib through it and tie it off in front. I'll fold it back 
and tie over it. Trim off that. So, as you can see, our dock hackle is now sort of sitting back in a big splay, a big it should make a bit of a commotion and a wave. And in front of this, what I'm going to do is put an orange muddler head. So I'm going to take this hot orange dyed deer hair that I have here. Cut a bunch of that off. Get rid of the under fur. Now what I've done here is I've sort of pinched it flat. And I'm going to set that up. With my thumb I'm going to press it down into the sort of uh, into the shank of the hook. And as you can see how long you leave these sort of ends of the deers up to yourself to make like a fake hackle. I think if they're too short they sort of don't uh, remove themselves from the from the actual muddler head part of it so I like to have them a little bit longer probably here so when I'm happy with the length of it I'm just going to transfer hands so my tie and thread is hanging at the back of the uh, portion where my head's going to be so I know that if I create a couple of loose loops there they are at that level then take my scissors and cut the deer hair level with the front of the eye and then as I start to tighten into it and get it to wrap it will spin until the point where it tightens up any slack that there was and then that will start to tighten into it and now what I'm doing is I'm wrapping through the deer hair towards the front what that will do is it will secure them down for one but it will also as you wrap forward it will make them progressively shorter because they're being tied in along the bit of shank and then you have your spare bit of deer hair whereas they were all cut to the one length so you will get that sort of tapered head shape from doing this. So now we just want to pull the deer hair back and get some sort of a half hitch or whip finish or whatever you're going to do in behind the eye. Easier said than done on muddlers. Turn that off. What I like to do is to get a little bit of super glue onto those wrappings. So I'm just going to use a cocktail stick here. I'm just going to force all this back, hold it back with a nail. I'll just let me get that in. It's in and then just gonna gently stroke that back while it dries. And that is our orange mother headed gosling. So as you can see it's the same color scheme as gosling. Uh, gosling probably would have had uh, the orange as the hackle but here I felt that if I did that it would be too orange. So uh, this is our orange muddler gosling. So hopefully you like what you see. If you do, uh, give us a like, subscribe, tell your friends, check out all the other videos that I've got on the channel. And until next time, tight lines and thanks for watching.